Hey Fancy Beauty Symbols, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Gina coming through and I want to follow up with the love portion of my video where I left off with why I love white people. So I figured 2019 and I let God lead me on when I should put the video up for why I love black people. As many of you know, there's been a lot of things going on the internet, on television about surviving R. Kelly. So I figured that this would be a really, really good time to talk about some positivity to uplift people, especially black people. For, for many years, we have faced dilemmas. We faced racism. We faced unfair treatment. We faced being killed. Uh, we faced whatever it is, anything you can name, we faced it. But I want to turn the corner on that if, if that makes sense to you. I want to be able to highlight positive attributes and positive things and qualities and characters and what we bring to the table. And I'd rather us focus in on those things rather than the negative of what people may see us as. So let's go ahead and just, you know, I'm going to try and do this off the dome. I used the list when I, when I did the one for why I love white people. And I want to kind of do this one off the dome and, and off the cuff. So I can tell you one of the things that I love about black people is our skin tone. We vary in skin tone. We vary in complexion. We vary in face structure. We vary in our eye shape, our eye color, um, meaning our eye color is going to be black, brown, and, hold on, blue, hazel, green, right? So you see where I'm going with this. There's no one stereotype of any race. Okay, but let me go on, because you know me, I will go in in a minute. So I love our lip shape. We have, some of us, we have luscious lips. Some of us have medium-sized luscious lips. Some of us have small luscious lips. I love our shape, our, the shape of our noses. We have petite noses. We have big noses. We have pointy noses. We have keen noses. We have any kind of nose. I love our cheekbones. Our cheekbones are high. We have very nice structured faces, jaw lines. I love all of those things about us. I love the texture of our hair. I love the different lengths of our hair. I love how we can change our style of our own hair. I love the fact that we can wear wigs and we can wear weaves and we can make them unique and make them fashionable. I love the fact that we can dress. We can put on an outfit, take a, t a $10 outfit and make you think that we spent $100 on that outfit. We can go shopping, we can buy the best clothes or we can buy the clothes that's on clearance and make a pop. I love that about us. I love the fact that we have shapely bodies, that we have 
big boobs, we have big thighs, we have big butts. I have that we have small boobs and small waists and small butts and thin thighs. I love all of that about us. I love the fact that we are smart, we're creative, we're strong. We're able to go through adversity without even blinking because that's what we've been most of our lives. I love all that about us. I love the fact that when we do succeed, we try and bring some people up with us. I love the fact that we are able to go to college now. We're able to vote. We have a voice. I love that about us. I love the fact that we love family. We have traditions. We have things that we care about. We have people that we care about. I love that about us. I love the fact that when we go to church, we praise God and we give him the glory. I love the fact that our preachers preach from their feet through their lungs and push it out and make that roaring sound. I love that about us. I love the fact that our choirs can sing and sing so beautifully. Make you stand up and clap your hands, thump your feet and throw your hands up in the air and thank Father God Almighty that he got you through those hard times, that he got your kids and they were able to be successful. I love that about us. Now, I want to turn just a moment and I want to speak to our younger generation from let's say 25 to 12, maybe even nine. There have been a lot of children coming up and they will express the fact that they don't like to be black. They don't see themselves as being black. And I wanna say this to you young people and hopefully you stumble up on this channel and you see this message. Don't let anyone make you feel less than. Don't let anyone put in your head that it's better to be another race other than the race that God made you. I want you to understand that God made you the race that you are for a reason. And you need to hold on to that and you need to figure out and you need to listen to God and let him lead you on the path that you should be on. Don't let anyone tell you that your nose is ugly, that your hair is ugly, that your lips are ugly because they are not. These are sought after qualities that people pay good money to get. Don't go out here and run and go get you a butt. If you weren't born with it, it ain't meant for you to have it. Your king may not want you to have a big butt. So you have to think about those things. We come in different shapes and sizes for a reason. You got a big butt, you may be turning away your king. If you got small lips and you go get lip injections, you might be turning away your king. Accept who you are because you are the epitome of beautiful. And I don't want you to ever forget that. Know that you are a child of God just like anybody else is. Now I want to speak to the entire race, whoever may be looking at my video right now, whether you Caucasian, Puerto Rican, Asian, if you're Muslim, whatever race that you are, 
every quality that I said in this video and in my other video, everyone has that. Everyone has something that God made beautiful about you. Make no mistake, God made everybody beautiful. You may look at someone and say, oh my gosh, they are so unattractive. In your eyes, and it shouldn't be in your eyes, you should always look at someone and find the beauty in them. Try it. Push yourself. In 2019, turn it around. Take away the negativity. In my eyes, everybody that I see is beautiful. Because God took the time to create them even before we laid eyes on them. Even before their parents laid eyes on them. God already said, this person is beautiful because I made them. No one has the right to tell anyone that they are less than. Open up your hearts. Open up your mind. Open up your eyes. Open up your arms and love people. Love on people. Because that's what God put us here for. I love you, my black sister and my black brother. Don't let anybody tell you that you are not worthy. Because you are so much worthy, just as anybody else. My white brothers and my white sisters, don't let anybody tell you that you need to have lip plumpers or that you need to go and tan or that you need to go and get butts. Love yourself the way that you are. If you want to rock blonde hair, my sisters and my brothers, you go ahead and you rock that blonde hair because it don't belong to anybody. It's not trademark to any race. If you want to rock it, you rock it. You want to wear blue hair, purple hair, green hair, yellow hair, you rock it and you do it with pride. You want to pop in gray contacts, green contacts, blue contacts, pop them in and rock them. But know inside of you who you are. And know that you are already beautiful even before you put that wig on your head. Even before you put extensions in your head. Even before you put makeup on your face or lipstick on your lips. Know that you are already a queen that God made. And that you are only enhancing that product that you're using. Not you! But the product that you're using, we got it twisted. We saying we enhancing our beauty. No, 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 no. We making that wig look good. We making those hair extensions look good. We making that eyeshadow look good. We making that contour pop. We making that highlight glow. We making those clothes look all that they are. Remember that the next time you get dressed, <laughs> I sure made these pants look good, honey. Know that I love you. Look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself that every day. I love me. And because I love me, I love God. And because I love God, I love who he made. Happy 2019, everyone. I'm bringing sexy back.